We've been in the Hartlepool job for five days. They're the first team that Brian Clough ever managed. And in a beautiful piece of symmetry, we are taking on Exeter City, who are managed by one Nigel Clough. Can we get a result in our first ever fully professional game in today's episode of The Rerouted Journeyman? Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And yep, coming up soon, we're going to have our very first game in the Football League up against Exeter. I'm really looking forward to taking on Brian Clough's son, Nigel. It's going to be a good test. As you can see on the screen, they are 8th in the league and we are 23rd. So a win would be a bit of an upset, but you never ever know. So just before we do get into that game, I might have only been here 5 days, but I've already brought in 4 players on loan. I've made a load of trial offers for players and I've brought in a couple of staff members. So yeah, shall we get into all of that? I think we should look at who we've brought in on the playing staff. So let's get to that. The first player I've brought in on loan is Tony Weston. He's an 18-year-old striker from Rangers up in Scotland. And he looks pretty decent. We're not paying any wages for him or any of the other loan players we've brought in. But I was looking at the squad and for the formation I want to play, which I'll have a look at in a minute, we did not have enough strikers. We're in a sim similar situation to West Ham before I got here in that we only had the one striker. So I've tried to rectify that a little bit. Tony Weston has got 10 finishing, 14 first touch, a decent acceleration, okay pace. He's determined, he's aggressive and he's got good teamwork. He's 5 foot 7, so he might be a little bit of an angry little man, but we'll see how he gets on over the next few months and then we'll decide if we want to bring him in on a full-time basis but he's not got any real game time before other than for Rangers B where he did get five goals and four assists which to be honest that's the first time I've seen that I'm quite happy with that I think he could do all right here so yep we've brought him in one Fionn Mooney, who is joining us on loan from Crystal Palace. If we have a look at his contract, he's on £2,900 a week up there. So if they're paying him that kind of money, you would hope he would be quite decent. And to be honest, he does look it, I think. I don't know why our coaches are only rating him at two and a half stars. If you can see something I can't, then please do let me know. Yes, his acceleration and his stamina is not great, but technically, good first touch, good long shots, good passing, good technique. He's got pretty much everything you would want, and he's still got time to grow and develop. I can see him getting a quite a few games for us this season. Next up is Isaac Fletcher. He's another central midfielder. Again, only rated at two and a half star current, four, maybe five star potential ability. He's got okay heading, decent passing, decent technique. He's not great mentally and physicals, again, aren't amazing, but I've, I can see him as a decent solid backup option. I'm trying to get numbers in as well, just so we don't get any big injury crises. The last guy I've brought in so far is the Cameroonian Ben Elliott. He's made four under-20 appearances for the Cameroon national team. And again, he's another central midfielder, but can also play as an attacking mid. He's got good dribbling, okay first touch, very good technique, decent vision. Again, he's very determined and he's got decent acceleration and agility and very good natural fitness. Again, he's another one who I like. I do like him, so I can see him getting quite a bit of game time. As for trials, you might have heard of this guy before, Yaya Sanogo. I think he started over at Arsenal. 
Yeah, in England he did. He started at Auxerre in France, but then went to Arsenal. And I think I had him on loan on a few saves around about this time. I might have even had him on an offline Kings Lynn save. And I think he did quite well, if my memory serves me right. But we've brought him in on loan again because we need strikers. Yes, he's not got that great finishing, but he's six foot four. Brilliant jumping reach, brilliant heading. I think for this level, he would be a decent little target forward. So we're going to see how he gets on over the next couple of weeks in training for us and then move on from there. Next up, we've brought in Mark Forrest, who is a 25-year-old striker once again. Again, he's quite tall, six foot three, decent jumping, okay heading, teamwork, work rate. He looks okay. But having, looking, having looked at him now, maybe he won't get a contract, but we don't know. We'll, we'll see how he gets on and again have a look at when his trial finishes. And now our last trialist is Virgil Gomez, who started his career at Nottingham Forest and then has just bounced around a few other teams, Braintree, Notts County, Macclesfield and then Grimsby last season. He's only got the one professional goal, apparently, which is a little bit worrying, but he's 22 years old. He's got decent acceleration, decent pace, decent finishing. I'm thinking he might be one who gets brought into the club. I'm, I'm hoping to have a look at him in a few reserves games and see how he gets on. But that is all of our transfer business. And then, uh, shall we go and get into the game? Here's the team for today's game. We've got Lee Camp in goal, Jamie Sterry is our right back, Luke Hendry and Timmy Odesina are our two centre backs, Kokolo is the left back, and then in the middle of the park we've got Featherstone, Daly and Hollihan, all as central midfielders. Just want to see how they get on for today in those roles. And then up top, we've got Molyneux, Fondop and Brennan. And we're going with a balanced mentality, long passing, just basically trying to lump it forward and go old school uh, Wimbledon, I think. So let's get into the game. I really don't know what to expect, but come on, a win would be nice. Ah! I just realised I paused the recording before we went into the game. So, ah, yeah. We've got the first highlight. You've not missed too much. Just a team talk. We had three players motivated, which isn't a great start. But we are now into the first highlight. We've just crossed the ball in and it looks like Exeter, Exeter are going to get it away. So, yeah, let's carry on with the game. They do indeed get the ball away. Daly heads it forward. Stubbs heads it away again. Hollahan with it. Into Daly again. Sterry. Into Fondop. He's got a player in him in space. Hollahan. He's into the box. He's got all the space in the world. And Gavan Hollahan gives us the lead against Nigel Clough's Exeter. Oh my gosh, that was easy. What a very, very nice goal that was. Let's have a look at this again. Sterry to Fondop. And then Hollihan had all the space of Exeter. I think the mayor had given him the freedom of the town. Wow, what a start. Immediately following that though, there's another highlight from the kickoff. Exeter with the ball. Sweeney's got it on the right hand side. Goes to Ammond. Back to Sweeney. What can old Sweeney Todd do there? He goes to Stubbs, to Collins, back to Stubbs, to Hartridge. Grounds. We are in a ground and he's on the ground, but let's hope he can't do well on that particular ground. And now back to Simons. Come on, let's get the ball back. Collins, Jay with a long shot and what a save by Lee Camp. What a save that was. I think I realised who it was on the last episode who'd gone to Man U. It was Lee Grant, wasn't it? Not Lee Camp. Lee Grant went to Man U out of nowhere. But anyway, with that unimportant business done, they've had a header and that's gone out of play. Five minutes later and it's another Cocolo throw in that starts a highlight and Brennan Brennan with the header and that's 2-0 2-0 to Hartlepool no it's not no it's not it's offside oh I knew that was too good to be true the half time whistle has just been blown we are 1-0 up at the half time which is phenomenal stuff but 
if you have a look at the match stats, Exeter have had nine shots, two are five, four on target apiece. RXG is a little bit better at 0.58, but they have had a tiny bit more of the ball with 52%. So, it's very even. We're not comfortable by any means. Let's get into the dressing room and let's go pump my fists. Let's go for that. And as you know, hands on hips. You're doing very well. Keep working hard until full time. Everybody's inspired and motivated now. What a difference from the pre-match team talk. Come on, lads. Let's hold on to this. 20 minutes left to go in the game. We're making all three of our substitutes. Olomola's come on up front in place of Molyneux as the advanced forward. Shelton has come on in place of Matty Daly. He's going to be playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. And on the defensive right-hand side, Kane Sykes has come on for Jamie Sterry, who's picked up a little bit of a knock. Hopefully, we can see this game out. Before those subs can even take effect, Exeter have now got the ball. Simon's with it. He's going to play it forward. It goes to Jay. And Jay with it to Nombi. Why to key? Has he got the key to unlock us? Let's hope not. Oh, he's done well. He's got it to Ataganga. Back to Nom. To Simons in space. To grounds. Has he got grounds to have a shot? Apparently not. But he has got grounds to have a cross. Nom with the header. And Camp with the easy save. Six minutes left to go in the game. Brennan with the ball for us. Goes to Sykes. And what is Sykes going to do with this? Can he cross it in? He does. He's headed towards Olamola, but he's been headed away. Hollahan, our goal scorer, with it on the left-hand side. Goes back to Kokolo. Into Hollahan. Brennan's in space. He's gone for the header, but that was much too easy for Dawson to catch. And now it looks like the highlight's going to carry on. The keeper's gone long. And Jay's got it with a great little first touch. Nombi's in and this an equaliser. Oh, we've been beaten at our own game there. That was much too easy for them to get the ball from the keeper into the back of our net. Just typical long ball football there. Jay brought it down with a very nice touch. And then once it got to Gnome, you knew he was going to bury that. Two minutes left of injury time. Their keeper again has gone long with the ball and it's gone over our defence. Gnome's in again, but Odessina with a brilliant tackle to save us there. And now Hendry to Sykes. He goes long and Hartridge heads it away. Ataganga plays it forward to Jay. It's all Exeter at the minute. Please don't let us throw this one away. We've gone attacking, which might have been a mistake. As Hammond with the header. Padre Gammond, who I had at Newport in my very first save on YouTube, has come back to punish me. We were so close to getting a win. Oh, should not have gone attacking. It cost me in my last game in charge of South End. It's cost me again here. Oh, it's not good. And that is how the game ends. Exeter 2, Hartlepool 1. 22 shots Exeter had. We had 14. They had 11 on target to our 8. But RXG was ever so slightly better. 1.2 for them to 1.29 for us. Possession was exactly 50-50. Oh, I think that's a little bit harsh. I think a draw would have been the fairest result. But what can you do? Let's go hands on hips. And I'm going to say... Can I say we was unlucky? What can I say? Uh, I'm proud of your efforts. And yep, that's got mostly everyone motivated. Let's go and have a look and see where we're going to come back for the next video. And then I shall let all you beautiful people go for today. Okay, I want to try and get quite a few games done so we can finish this season in not too many more episodes. Maybe just two or three more episodes for this season. So we're going to come back for Newport away on the Friday night. So I think that might be on the telly. 
but I'm not sure right now. Hopefully it is so we can get some extra money. But yep, that is all for today. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And I shall see you next time for Newport Away. Bye.